Hello, it's Colette from the Sacred Rose Temple. This is my first recording of 2022 and I've just come out of uh, my meditation and I'm feeling really... I can't help feel the split that's happening in me at the minute and I'm quite sure a lot of you are going through the same. So I feel really exhausted. I feel really full of energy. I feel... Like I want to give up. I also feel like there's something, like a huge divine force that's pulling me forward. So I'm very much in a split of polarity, I like to call it. Um, you know, this is common to all humans. We all have a deep split within us. And it was work with my analyst that allowed me to venture into this split deeper inside of me to feel the contrasting parts that cause such a push-pull in my life at times. And I'm really deeply sitting in that today as I feel both completely motivated, unmotivated. I feel full of life and I feel like there's a death process going on. So yeah, I'm really in the middle of it. And the reason I wanted to record was because I just wanted to share like you know that many of us are having really crazy feelings maybe we're totally in our heads and our heads are driving us insane but whatever's happening we, we have to ride through the emotions that are showing themselves to us and stop trying to figure them out like I'm trying to just name the feelings that are going on inside of me and I'm not justifying that it's right or wrong to feel both motivated and unmotivated at the same time so navigating your emotional being is quite difficult at the moment because we're navigating feelings and emotions that we've never had to uh, feel before a field in our collective that is an anomaly really someone said that word to me a dear friend said something about the anomaly that we're living in in this day and age and I want you to feel what's going on out there like everything's in a conflict I am sharing stories at the minute that's conflicting what they've been guiding the general public to do and then conflicting that now and and that's gonna mess with people's psyche that's gonna mess with people's minds and there is a mass program of mind manipulation happening out there and that's what we need to be most aware of and, and how we're dealing with our mental health at the moment. So I, over the last 25 years, I've probably got every tool in the box that I could possibly have collected from all manners of places. And I, I'm struggling really to like pick those out or select those or or know what to work with because I'm navigating completely new energies and new influences. So the biggest thing for me at the moment that I'd probably like to share is that, you know, being in nature is completely and utterly um, reviving and connecting and grounding and it lets you forget everything that's going on. It disconnects you from all forms of manipulation. So being in nature is vitally important. I think what we experience is a deep pull away from nature with all the way technology is and all the new you know focus on medicine and it's drawing us further and further away from our bio nature and from the nature that calls us to work with the herbs to work with the land to work with the plants you know I, I see this split in the spiritual community there's this like deep pull to like the medicine woman and the herbal woman and and working with Gaia and then the next minute this like call to like pharmaceutical industry whenever there's an illness or and it's you know there's some judgment in that of course there is but I'm just I can't help feeling as a woman who works with you know herbs and with the land here and I'm not saying that I've nailed that because I haven't like I'm a total beginner that there's some deep program to pull us away from that I've also seen the beauty of people who really are being called to the land. I've seen more people growing, getting vegetable patches. 
I've got a feed of friends who are beginning to make herbal medicine, making their own medicines, and it's absolutely incredible, amazing to see that. So there is some really beautiful, joyous parts out of it. And again, that split, isn't it, is showing itself where people are using pharmacy, people are using herbs, people are feeling the call that, you know, that the, the metaverse and all of that crazy stuff is going that way and that there's another way forming in that we're all just going to live off the land and I do think our soul is pushing us into one stream or the other and you know I've been called out for, for highlighting this split but until the split's recognised within us all on a deep human level the split will co continue and the split is actually meant to occur so that we can all as humans come into that unification into that oneness again but yet yeah, there needs to be a deep chasm of darkness of the black mother as i call it for us to get there so that's what i wanted to share about that that nature that split also for me meditation is really helpful although for me it's probably the noisiest it's ever been and meditating for you know since I was 19 and wow never have I had to work hard just to gather moments of, of breath and and stillness and this crazy overactive mind and the sensations of my nervous system and my physical body calling me during the meditation so that is really you know a deep awakening more for me that I have to work harder that that place isn't as easy when life is comfortable and I have been privileged to have you know comfort and and ease when meditating so this is a whole new a whole new realm for me as is you know making life different the old ways aren't working and our collective function is a um a mirror of the old ways not working so what we have to do is find new ways and that goes for us as individuals and I know for me it's so easy isn't it to keep doing the same thing even though it's not working for you and there's a bit of laziness behind that I feel as well you know I know times that I've been lazy in changing because it takes a bit of extra effort doesn't it or a bit of your time and when everything's chaotic, that feels really hard to do. So making time to just acknowledge what you're doing, that you've been doing, that isn't working, and, and what can you do to change that into the new? And that's something with me, with my work. Like, I'm really deeply longing for community, and I've shared this in posts, like community, was something that I absolutely adored. and. I had a time in my life where I had the Urban Builder Yoga Studio and I've been really feeling that place recently. And the community that I drew together and there was a big collective of us doing yoga and we were spiritual seekers and we were wanting a better world and we wanted to be better people and we were spending our spare time like integrating and meditating and trying to heal. And I really made some beautiful friendships there and some challenging friendships that were all meant to be you know good or bad these friendships and relationships and meetings come to us for a reason they they come to teach us it's never about the other it's always about our own self and and that journey definitely has taught me that you know where I want to project our blame on others instead of taking full ownership as to what that might be showing me about the way I react or feel about things and I've never always handled that in the right way though I'm trying to learn to do that but you know that community is missing from my life at the moment online yes to a lesser degree and a lesser connectedness than I had before and I I'm really seeking to gather community again it's funny, just in the run-up to New Year, I started to make some new connections with people and tried to make an effort to spend time out. I'm such a hermit, like I literally, 
find it difficult these days to socialise and go out. I'm dealing with so much of my own stuff and I've just had some really beautiful connections before Christmas and during Christmas and socialising and meeting people that are very, you know, I've always kind of gone, oh, they're not like-minded, so I can't connect to those people, but I've just met some new people that feel very kind and open-hearted and, you know, we're all not perfect, are we? We all get stuff wrong, but there's just this, and that's the kind of energy I like, just this, this kindness, this softness, this wanting to be a better person. And, and that really is a draw for me. And I know that's where I feel I am. And maybe that's what I'm calling in now. Well, no, maybe about it. So, yeah, community. What does community mean for you? Like, how are you gathering community? Community will be important for us all as we move through this year, especially. Like, how do we make better worlds by creating community? How do we create a community that is aligned with morals and, and, a, and a, an intention? So, yeah, all big things. And I feel like I'm at a crux in my career in the work I do where something new and big wants to come through. And something that is, at a gain of, of not me, really, not my own ambition or my own want of things but creating something that actually makes me feel uncomfortable and that I don't want to do but that really helps the community or humanity in some way and I've got a, an idea of what that is and it makes me squirm and it makes me want to hurt me and it wants me to make me carry on my life as it is but I know I've got this deeper, deeper call and there's a big resistance there and I'm trying to work in the resistances at the moment as to what what that is, you know, sacrificing my own needs, my own private life to create a community where I won't get that. So big questions for us as we come into 2002 and I shared with you all about Jupiter coming into Pisces and I've said I'm no astrologer but I feel the certain energies that might change in our collective and then try to do a bit of research why I'm feeling this change and work with you know some amazing astrologers that I get information from and so when I write about astrology it's basically just to try to pin on what I'm feeling energetically and what I really felt coming in with this Jupiter transition was just this this magic that wanted to show itself this this place where we are completely supported and although times may be chaotic and that we don't know our elbows from our ass, as I call it, as to what's happening out there, that we should still be trying to create from, from that nothing because there is this opening that when you don't know that there's so much opportunity actually in not knowing, there's so much opportunity in not being in control, there's so much opportunity into surrendering and there's so much opportunity in trusting what this time is bringing us. So I'm saying that like, I'm not saying that like I'm teaching it, I'm saying that's because these are the things that are moving through me and what I am feeling and adjusting to and seeing out there with clients as well. And I had a beautiful uh, session with a client yesterday that was all about the necessity of what's happening out there. I'm getting my medicine as much as I am fighting and wrangling against, you know, things like freedoms being taken away and me not allowed to eat in restaurants, for example, or go for a coffee. I know I'm getting my medicine, like I am getting what I need, I'm getting that situation so it invokes feeling in me and injustice and all those things that I'm not in control of that are bringing me to a deeper place of humility and a place of understanding that my life has been pretty privileged so far 
and I'm not saying that I've not had difficulties, of course I have, but like I, I'm keeping it real by checking in. There, there are people in this world whose liberties like this have never been in place, that they've never been allowed to go anywhere. I, I understand that, you know, during the apartheid, that people were separated and segregated and treated absolutely appallingly for no other reason than the colour of their skin. And I didn't experience that. And that really, you know, separates me at times and this upsets me, you know, from those people. And now I'm getting a taste of my own medicine and and what that feels like to be segregated and ousted out because of a choice that I've made. And that's a choice. It, it's not even something that, you know, I've been born with a colour of my skin or my gender or... It, it's really, really difficult. And I think what we're all being asked to do is to take the lessons that are being given to us and just try to make ourselves better people and to make ourselves understand other people whether we agree with them or not and to respect choice you know the choice of others is it, it, it's their their choice and and if we take that choice away and if we're part of taking choice away from people then there's work to do on ourselves so I've got a lot of work to do on me and I will continue with this work until I die. I, I, I vow to that because there's nothing more important to me than changing, than being a better person, than contributing to this world in a positive way and then helping others do the same. So as we navigate 2022 together, let's feel of the ways in which we can all own this lesson that we're getting and how the split is manifesting in us so i'm sending you all nothing but love this morning as i'm feeling really touched by my process this morning and what i'm seeing in the world and what i'm feeling and i wish you all nothing but support as we travel through and i'm looking forward to speaking to you all again so big hugs Big love, let's keep this together and I'll speak to you all soon.